Island Trail. It's a clearly marked trail. We're about to do the Sundown Trail. It says it's three kilometres long return. So three kilometres all up. Um, and it takes about one hour approximately. Um, which I think we've done it a few times um, with the kids and uh, it's um, achievable for them. Alright, and you follow the arrow. It's a little bit tricky going up this first valley. We have to lose our way on this one. But um, now that we know where we're going, it's easy. Yeah, we got stuck up on that top of the hill, didn't we? Yeah, the very first time we stuck up on that hill, it was cold and windy, that's right. Number one! It goes up to 14, but they're quite spaced out. Yeah. And this is the only confusing bit of the whole track. There's an arrow that went that way. The very first time we went up the hill. But you've actually really just got to follow the gully straight ahead. I think it means that you can cross over this little gully and walk to the other side, but don't, don't go up that big hill. This is only just up, up the gully. We found the number two, and there's an arrow, so I'm assuming we have to go up that way. You can see um, the car parked down there, and then on the Horizon Stevens Creek Reservoir, which is um, quite full with water. So it's pretty cool that you can see it from here. You can see the windmills on the horizon out there that are out at Silverton. I see the arrow. The tree line is that Stevens Creek and it runs into Stevens Creek Reservoir that you can see on the horizon. There's a car down there on the highway. So that's the road from uh, Breaking Hill to Tipperbra. So, Deep section there. You come up the gully over there and then come down into this flat creaky bit and then come up this rock and um, continue along the rocky bit and loop back so you don't have to retrace your steps. You end up back here where you started in a loop. Oh, sorry for the puffing. I think we're going to stop for something to eat over here. Oh, and here's Broken Hill. That's the view of the city. That's Round Hill, North Mine, and Central Mine in the middle up on the hill. Oh, where the kids have gone. Uh, do you want to have your lunch here? Yeah. I wonder if any more will come up. In Greece. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking last time we came, I think it was a lot greener. There was a lot more grass around. And there was it's a lot more a bit, kangaroos. It's getting a bit dry now.
What are we having for lunch? Matt? Mm, dips. And what? Vegetables. Wheat chilli and cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Celery, cucumber and carrot. Yeah. <laughs> well, we found number 11. It's somewhere down there. And we're just seeing some kangaroos jump across the horizon. You didn't choose a very comfy spot, Lara. This we've got hardly any shade. So we've got a tree. Um, the rock's quite uncomfortable. I got a comfy spot. And very prickly tree too. <laughs> we can see the broken hill. And I never thought it was that big. Is that broken hill? What's that shed? I think that's the um. Model Aeroplane Club. Model Aeroplane Club? Can you see the golf course? Where is it? Oh, wait. oh careful. That big green thing? No, because this way. Closest to us, that green grass sort of just. The green grass on the other side of this flat. And all the, where all the trees are. Yeah, yeah. No, you're looking the wrong direction. I'm not at the oh, top yet. I'm not at the top yet. I'm going to climb up further. I think you should go higher. Oh, yeah. mm. Can't reach. You're wrong. park stopped to have oranges and then we stopped again for lunch and Matt Matt sat down a few times and had a little breather so we've gone haven't rushed at all. Does he need help? It was pretty easy you just had to unpack the wood. We didn't need them, did we? No. I did name mine to hold on my hat. Oh. 
Oh, I tied it around. <laughs>